the house lights were on before, and it's nice to see a young audience. You know, usually my audience is uh, the average age is deceased. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. Ah! Please. Ah, oh, thank you. Don't clap too loudly. This is a very old building. Marvelous. Can I have a show of hands of all the married ladies, please? Just the married ladies. Put up your hands for a second. Just the married ladies only. I just want to see who you are, so I don't waste my time after the show. I want to say, folks, out of all the audiences I've ever worked for, honestly, tonight, you guys, you're the most recent. <laughs> so I went to visit my Aunt Myrtle, ladies and gentlemen. She's 88 years old, and she's beautiful. I bought her a cell phone, you know, a mobile phone. Two days ago, I bought it for her because she don't got one, you know. I go back to see her, and she says, this thing's broken. It doesn't work. I go, what's the matter with you? It's brand new. What are you talking about? So I take a look at it. All the memory's gone. I said, what have you done here? I have a look. 147 photos of her right here. <laughs> I've always had bad luck in the supermarket. I mean, even as a young kid, I remember going in there and I, I bought, you know, a 250 ml of milk, half a loaf of bread, a soup for one. The checkout girl goes, oh, you must be single. I said, you can tell from the shopping. She says, no, you're ugly. So I got an invitation, folks, about a month ago to go to my high school reunion. I couldn't believe it. You know, my high school reunion, people I haven't seen for so long, I thought, I'm gonna go to this. I had a sweetheart in high school, folks. A girl called Stella, and I thought, no, Maybe she might be there. So I go to my I go to my high school reunion, folks, and there she was, Stella, still beautiful, still vibrant and gorgeous. I said, "How are you doing?" She says, "I'm divorced now." You know. I said, "Well, I didn't tell her about my wife." I said, "You want to go out one night?" She says, "Sure. Let's go to the driving. Marvelous." I pick her up at eight o'clock the next night, folks, and up we go to the driving. I'm prepared, you know. I'm prepared. I take a bottle of scotch with me. And we're sitting there, the movie starts, and I say, uh, Stella, you want to you wanna get in the back? She says, no, no, no. So I give her a little bit of a drink, you see? I wait about five minutes, Stella, you want to go in the back? She says, no, no, thank you, no. So I give her another drink, a bit more scotch, and she starts to swagger. Stella, you want to go in the back? She says, no. I said, what's the problem? She says, I want to stay in the front with you. <laughs> All right, folks, there's these two dead guys, right? And they're waiting at the pearly gates, waiting to get into heaven, you see, two dead guys, and they strike up a conversation. One looks at the other and says, how did you die? He says, well, I had a heart attack. What about you? He says, well, I froze to death. You froze to death? My God, what's it like to freeze to death? He asks. Well, it's pretty crazy, you know. You, you get all shaky and numb and you're cold and all of a sudden you just drift away and, and you die. You know, it's pretty peaceful. What about you? What's it like to have a heart attack? Crazy story, says the first guy. I was convinced my wife was having an affair, you know. And one day at work, I get a phone call from my neighbor. He says, hey, someone's just gone into your house. So I got upset. I ran to the lift. Lift's not working. 30 flights. I run down the stairs, running, running, running. I get to the car park. I can't find my keys. What do I do? I run home, four kilometers. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. I get to my house. I go in the house. I look in the kitchen, the study, the lounge room, everywhere, nothing. I run upstairs. I look in every bedroom, every cupboard, nothing. I run back downstairs, out to the garage, nothing. And all of a sudden, my left arm went numb, and, and I got a pain in my back, and I died. Second guy says, that's crazy, you know? If only you looked in the freezer, we'd both still be alive. 